Our family moved here in Germantown in the mid-40s. My mother and her mother would come up from South Philly during World War II to go to the Novena here. And she told me that the shrine, there was just standing room at that time, that the crowds were quite immense. The Caroline, the shrine, yeah, such a central part of our lives. And it would ring before each novena and uh, after each novena, kind of beckoning the faithful to, to the novena. I love the bells because I sing along with the music. Of course, you know the hymns from coming to church. But it also makes me feel good that I'm living so close to God's house. For me, it takes me a moment, allows me a moment to just center in on God, say a prayer, be thankful that He's here, reminds me that He's with me all the time. Bells rang, they were like the sound of Monday. And where we lived, four blocks from here, you really couldn't hear them well, except on a really clear night in autumn. If you could picture like a cold, crisp, dry uh, October night with the leaves mostly gone off the trees, the air would be filled with the sound of those bells. Like it was a way that the building had a voice in the community, like the, the presence of the, the tower, the presence of the Blessed Mother, the, the, you know, like we, we knew everything about this place. The most immediate memory of the, uh, of the bells was my experience of being here in the novitiate, living in what we now call the archive building. In the summer that it was really hot, there was no air conditioning in that place, every window in the house would be open. So on Monday night, the inside of the house was filled with the sound of the bells. It was sort of a musical expression of something that was always true, that was always around us. Janet Dundor was the woman who played them at that time, and she played the Mr. Softy tune, and she played Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and you know, you know the, the hymns were there as well, you know, that, that uh, Immaculate Mary would ring out through the house. It, it was the sonorous backdrop of that time, and especially in the summertime. Just that joy. Some of my brothers and sisters would recall getting off the train, which is only a few blocks away, and walking down the street and hearing the bells ring or the carillon, and they would know they would be at home. A sense of peace and calm, security. Mary's statue looking down was as though she was beckoning us to pray, to trust in her son. I think Joe says it pretty good. How do you feel when you hear the bells, Joe? Yeah? Happy. Okay.